Welcome to Petro Proficient. This video gives an overview of the oil well drilling process, but first let us see a little bit of historical background. The first oil well was drilled in 1859 by Colonel Drake, at Titusville, Pennsylvania. The well was very shallow about 50 feet deep, and produced 50 barrel per day. In 1890, the first rotary drilling rigs were introduced. Rotary drilling technique uses a rock cutting tool suspended at the end of hollow pipe. Hollow pipe is used so that fluid can be continuously circulated across the face of the drill bit. The drilled rock material is continuously cleaned from the face of the bit and carried to surface. The first major success for rotary drilling was at Spindletop, Texas in 1901, where oil was discovered at 1,020 feet and produced about 100,000 barrel per day. Drilling can be considered as a sequence of operations. The figure shows a typical well. The first stage of the drilling process is to drive a conductor pipe to a depth approximately 50 to 100 feet below ground. The conductor usually has a 30 inch outside diameter and is installed to prevent the unconsolidated surface formations from collapsing, while drilling deeper. After installing the conductor casing, surface hole, the first hole section is drilled down through the unconsolidated formations near surfaces. This section is drilled to approximately 2000 feet depth. After the drilling of surface hole, a casing is lowered in the well and cemented. A wellhead and blowout preventer is installed on top of the surface casing. Wellhead provides a means to suspend the casing and support the blowout preventer. Intermediate section is usually the longest section of the well. The hole size is usually 17 and a half inch and casing is 13 and 3 eighths inch diameter. The primary purpose of intermediate casing is to minimize the hazards that come along with subsurface formations that may affect the well. These include abnormal underground pressure zones, underground shales, and formations that might otherwise contaminate the well. After the section is drilled, casing is lowered in the well and cemented in place. The previous blowout preventer is removed. The well head section is installed and another blowout preventer is installed. After testing the wellhead and blowout preventer, drilling for the production section commences. Production hole is drilled across the petroleum producing formations, or reservoir section and, is the deepest section in a well. The size of the hole is either 12 and 1 quarter inch, or 8 and a half inch. The size of the production casing depends on a number of considerations such as completion equipment to be used. Typically, the production casing is 9 5 eighths inch or 7 inch in size but could also be smaller depending on well design. After drilling to section total depth, production casing is lowered in the well and cemented. The well is then completed and a production tree is installed. Please subscribe to our channel to keep receiving notifications about new videos.